What's going on guys, my name is Perry and I'm going to talk to you about screen space and how frustrating it is to not have enough of it. Like, I don't know if you guys uh, work on a laptop or if you work with a desktop computer with a screen, you might have one screen, two screens, I don't know, three screens and you still feel that you don't have enough screen space. I feel like that and I have two screens and then when I use my laptop from time to time I find it really hard as well working from one very small screen it's frustrating well in today's video I'm going to show you this really cool application I've got here open in Chrome called Dexpot and Dexpot gives you the ability to have up to 20 virtual desktops this is like a virtual screen on your computer how cool does that sound? So um, you can go ahead and jump into Dexpot, have a look at the free version that's included there. Um, it is a really cool application and I'm gonna show you what I mean by a virtual desktop. So here we have my main screen and it is busy as. I have Word, I've got Excel, I've even got my Outlook hidden down here and I've got Chrome and then an Explorer window and I'm always flicking between all of these um, to look at different content and it's frustrating. So with Dexpot what I can do is once it's loaded by default I have a second screen. Here we go. I can click on it, boom! I have this clean slate, a clean new screen uh, to work from and everything else is still open on desktop one. So I can click back to it and boom, I'm straight back onto my original desktop with everything open. Now you're thinking, how, how do you get things over to desktop two, Perry? Like show us, show us how do you do that? Well, there's a couple of ways, but the simplest way that I'm going to show you is to right click on the window that you want to move, go to Dexpot and then go to move and then choose the screen. That's the easiest way that you can do it. Um, there's a bunch of other ways that you can move screens around or the windows of applications to the different screens, but uh, that is pretty simple. So then when you click on the second window, you're gonna have Chrome there available for you to use. So one thing I'd recommend doing is if you are working from like a laptop or a single screen computer, go ahead, jump on and download and run up um, Dexpot and give it a crack. Um, it's gonna be something that you're gonna find really beneficial. Um, so one way I like setting up Dexpot is to have, uh, say, my Outlook open um, on the main screen and maybe I'll use Explorer and things like that to open up files just for a quick preview. But I'll keep my main screen with, with Outlook open on number one and then you can flick over to number two that might have Chrome, your Word file, Excel, and stuff like that. Now, I did mention that you can have up to 20 virtual screens. That's right, 20 virtual screens on your computer using Dexpot. And if you right click on Dexpot, you can see a plethora of options. This thing is customizable. So you're gonna get completely lost in here, but it's gonna be great. So have a play in there. But under settings, you can see once it comes up, you can choose how many desktops you wanna have. And I'm not lying, you can have up to 20. And if you have two monitors attached, think of that as having 40 desktops because you're doubling that uh, original space, which is insane. It's just so much space that you can have um, using Dexpot. Once again, there's a whole bunch of different different options under here. If you wanna learn more about Dexpot or want, us, want me to or any of the other guys within the team to talk to you more um, about Dexpot, hit us up in the comments section. We're more than happy to go through a customizing video and create one for you as well. But I just wanted to give you guys another option to purchasing a screen. There's always other options out there and um, in this instance, Dexpot is one of them. Thank you for watching. Please hit us up in the comments section below. Give us a thumbs up if you like this video and be sure to share it around.